Hey guys, I just watched the video made by my friend Alex who used ChatGPT to automate a login page with Cypress. And it was a fun idea, so I decided to try it myself and automate my practice web automation uh, website login page with Selenium Java. So let me go to Praxis test login page and let me automate this page in Selenium Java. So first let me quickly create new Maven project in the Eclipse just like this and if you want to learn how to do this uh, just make sure to check out my Selenium WebDriver tutorial that I have on Udemy. Now to make it quick, let me actually use the code from my Selenium WebDriver for beginners test. Let me just copy a POM XML file. Oh, hold on a second, not whole, just dependencies and build sections. Paste it here, Control shift f to format. Now let's see, I don't need this for now. Java 17, fine, Selenium 4.7.2, okay. Save. And Maven update project. Force update, okay. Okay, yeah, so now it's switched to Java C17. Uh, we have some warnings, no explicit encoding. This one we can just quick fix here. Selenium for beginners. Okay, those other warnings are from the different projects, so that's that's okay. Now let me create new, oops, not Java project. Let me create new Java file. Uh, actually maybe package first. So com.chatgpt.test and inside the package, let's create new class uh, login test okay should be fine and now let's ask chat gpt to write a code for this test automate selenium java test ng login test for this page let's see if it can do this. Okay, something is happening. So to make login test for the page using Selenium and TestNG in Java, you would need to do the following. Install Selenium WebDriver and TestNG by adding the necessary dependencies. That's, we did that already. Create new Java class for your test and import the necessary Selenium and TestNG libraries. Use the WebDriver to navigate the login, okay. So it gives me the steps, but it doesn't give me the actual code. Okay, let me stop this since it's gave me very high level instructions only. And let me try to ask the chat GPT in a different way. Write login test method for page using Selenium Java and test ng. Oh, okay, so now it gives me an example. Let's see. Okay, let's just wait for it to give me all the code and then I'll just copy and paste and try. Uh, driver get practice test automation, web element, username, passwords, and wow. It's really good so far. Now, I'm not sure if I do have those IDs on my page, but it really looks good so far. 
Okay, this is just an example. Let me copy, paste here. Now, the one thing I know for sure I don't need anymore since I use selenium.4.7, I no longer need to path uh, for Chrome driver. So let me save. Test annotation is here, imported from test ng. Now let's see if it got all the correct IDs. Oh, uh, username and password. So it didn't read that we have username here, which we need to use. So let me copy username. And let me copy the password. Paste here. Okay, let's try. Right click, run as, test and retest. Errors, where's. Out package declaration. Oh. Okay, so that's the thing it missed. Or maybe I missed, maybe I didn't need to replace it. Okay, let me try. So right click inside, run as test and retest. Let's see, here's my Chrome. And test failed. No such element. Uh, which one? CSS selector with ID user login. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I knew it wasn't the ID I actually have here on this page. The ID is username. So looks like chat GPT did not actually go to my page to get the correct ID. But other than that, this example is pretty good. Uh, let me let me actually put the correct username ID. Password ID should be password if I'm not mistaken. Let's inspect ID password and submit button has ID submit. Username field, password field, login button. Well, it's not login button it's submit button but but that's okay or no, let me just make it right like that and let's run again Oops, it's here it still failed so expected HTTP practice test automation.com slash practice test login, but found logged in successful. Okay, right. So the chat GP GPT did not actually execute login. So we also need to change the expected URL. However, all the steps were actually correct. So it didn't bother checking if the URL is correct and if the IDs are correct. But everything, every step is correct and now it should work. So let me see. Open driver, execute login, wait for the next page to load. And, and test passed. Wow, <laughs> this is fun. Uh, let me save this and upload to YouTube and I also want to try the same thing with uh, Python.